it was indeed a matter of luck and good fortune that uh, Titan Company got to work on this uh, very interesting project of restoring the finial of Humayun's tomb, a 400 year old tomb on top of which this uh, wonderful finial was erected and which fell off due to weather conditions and age, aging and corrosion and so on. This 18 feet tall finial on the Humayun's tomb is the most visible and the grandest of architectural elements of the tomb. So its collapse in May 2014 posed a huge challenge as well as a great opportunity. Now, on inspecting the finial, it was clear that this was a remarkable piece of great art history value and could not be left exposed on the dome any longer. It had to be put in a museum environment. And then the next question was, what do you put back? Because whatever is put back in all terms needs to be authentic, authentic of material, which means an almost exact replica of the finial needed to be created to be restored to whom I used to. This is the kalash that is built from the wood. And the wood is built in a single piece. So the first one was built in a single piece. The wood was built in a single piece. सिंगल पीस लकड़ी में गला हुआ था वो जो गिरी भी थी कोई नीचे जो लकड़ी का बेस था जो जहाँ जॉइंट था जो कंक्रीट अंदर फंसा हुआ था और जमीन पे जहाँ पे वो आ रहा था वहाँ से पानी लगने से वो टूट गल गई थी लकड़ी और उसके टूटने के कारण नहीं गिरा तो ये अब हमारा ये काम असली काम ये भी रहा कि इतनी लंबी लकड़ी ढूंढना इन द फिनियल मेकिंग प्रोसेस द फर्स्ट थिंग इज टू गेट दॉपर वेजल्स मेड एंड फॉर दैट नीड टू हैव हाई क्वालिटी कॉपर शीट्स so we went around looking for a good vendor and we found that the, none of the existing vendors were having the right kind of competency to take up manufacturing of sheets of very high quality because when the gold cladding process is being done the copper and brace has to be very very good and finally with intensive engagement and interactions we finalized on a vendor in Walsad, Gujarat who was more than willing to take up this project because for him also it was a prestigious project to get involved in. So, our first job was to look for this for it. And because this was our old job, we had to look for it with our hands. So, the other thing we went to the streets and we found that there are some streets where only today there is a job of work. We insisted that we make our site so that our supervision and 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 our supervision पर उन्होंने हमें बाद में समझाया कि ये साइड पे नहीं हो सकता क्योंकि इसके अंदर हथौड़ियाँ ही कम से कम उन्होंने 25 किस्म की दिखा दी हथौड़ियाँ डिफरेंट किस्म की उनके बैठने के औजार अलग अलग किस्म के हैं कि कैसे बैठ के काम करते हैं उनके बेस अलग अलग हैं गुलाइयाँ घुमाने वाली चीज़ें अलग अलग जो जो उनके पास फैक्ट्रियों में पड़ी हैं और ये जो हमने अल्टीमेटली फाइनल किया ये काफ़ी बुजुर्ग से आदमी थे पाँच पुश्तों से ये लोग काम कर रहे हैं पाँच पाँचवीं छठी पुश्त ये काम कर रहे हैं और वहीं काम कर रहे हैं Restoration also involves providing the same kind of coating with much, much higher quality using the present competencies available. When we thoroughly examined, we found that these copper vessels were gilded with thin layers of wood, which was prevalent at that point of time. And these pineals had to be provided with uh, many, many layers of gold in a very very uh, safe and conducive environment. The gilding process first involves uh, thoroughly cleaning the copper vessels. First is to do a physical cleaning, that is we, we used a very smooth emery paper so as to remove any undulations, cracks and burr marks which inherently come when the copper vessels are made. Once that was done, it was thoroughly cleaned with water and it was then cleaned with uh, dilute acids and later on it was completely dry. So once it was dry, we applied mercury on that because mercury is important to dissolve the gold foils onto the surface of the uh, copper and embeds as part of the vessel itself.
So apply the mercury and heat it up so that it becomes uh, not red hot but to some extent it's warm. It is, a, it is an experience by which one can learn at what, to what extent this can be done. Then it is dried up once again and later on gold foils are laid on these copper vessels one over the other, one next to the other and one over the other. And later on it is completely pressed with a special stone so that it completely embeds with the copper vessel. It is a very uh, complex process. It is something involves very intensive engagement, and also it is highly skilled because it is not it is not possible for every uh, person to get onto this kind of a process. And it is done by a special set of people who have been trained for generations to do this kind of a job. So once this is done, again all over the vessel, it is completely brushed with uh, glass beads to see that there is a perfect embedding onto the surface and one can see the base copper, the grains of the base copper being also being visible although there has been a several layers of gold embedded onto it. The inscription that tops the finial was not made with copper like the rest of the finial but with brass which was originally cast in the 16th century. With today's technology, we were able to match the inscription exactly by using a brass sheet and using laser technology to cut out the inscription. Similarly with the tree log, the tree log is not a circular log, but it's actually been shaped octagonal by the Mughal craftsmen. And similarly, the same salwood tree was used to uh, and chiseled down into an octagonal base over which the copper gold finial sits. And uh, with Titan support, we were able to not only get the gold, but use state-of-art technology and scientific knowledge to work with traditional craftsmen and put a layers of gold that will probably survive another five centuries. Overall, the final effect is one of having restored a, a piece of uh, art, a piece of history to its rightful place and uh, Titan, the Tata Group, is proud to have achieved this uh, and uh, we hope generations of people will enjoy uh, looking up at this uh, wonderful piece of uh, work that has been carried out together with the Karigars. We thank the Aga Khan Trust for having approached us to help on this project. <laughs>